How's it going, boys? The trick comes back. And today, today I'm bringing you a real leveling guy from 1 to 60. This is going to be by far the best and fastest way to level up in your world right now as we are. Forget, forget what other people are saying, you know, forget about just doing town boards because let's be real, that is not real, right? If you are a new or you are a, a, a low level player, you're not going to have... You're not going to have all of the money, all of the resources to just sit and do town boards all day long. You need at least 60 to 100K if you want to just do towns board and level up from one to 60 without having to do anything else. But let's be real, that is not real, okay? The town board, yes, it helps, but you cannot level from one to 60 just doing town board as a returning or fresh player the town board it is our best tool still but it's not just used like that all right so first of all uh we're gonna start on the beach right you're gonna start either on first light monarch's bluff or windsward in the moment that you start on the beach you're gonna do every single quest that you have there until you make it into the first town obviously we cannot skip that and i recommend that you do that nonetheless because you are able to open the marketplace storage etc so that is something that we need to do once you get to the town you have two choices right you got two choices either you want to speed level through the whole story or you can take your time and do things the way that they were meant to be done right this is the moment that you are presented with two choices do you want to play the game that way that it was supposed to or you just want to speed level through all the entire game if this is your very first time playing the game i strongly recommend that you do the towns board but though you don't spend all of your resources and time doing towns board and instead you go to every town you you do every quest you explore the maps you explore the game because it's a beautiful game it is indeed a very very beautiful game it has a lot of cool maps like a lot of cool resources and if this is your first time playing the game you will be you will be presented with abundance of content for you to do as a new player to be honest with you the best experience that i've had in this over 4,000 hours that i've been playing the game was the leveling experience whenever i started playing the game for the first time i was a solo player i never had i was never playing with anybody you can do the entire story solo you don't need help from anybody but going through the new zones discovering the new areas and and being able to to farm the resources and slowly making my way up there that was for me the most fun i had now if you want to skip that because probably this is your second character or you don't care about the storyline then yes you can go ahead and do method b which i will be showing you in a minute but if it is your first time like i said i strongly strongly suggest and guarantee that you go to every town pick up every quest along the main storyline and and just play the game and and you will feel you will you, you will find love for the game you will enjoy the game because more more likely than not what happened to the people that speed level from 1 to 60 now they get to 60 and they want to store they want to start doing end game activities just to realize that you're not even close to start doing end game activities and now you have to do expertise grind you need to get your gear so you're going to have to spend even a longer time after you hit level 60 to start and join the game rather than just hit to level 60 and boom immediately start enjoying the game it's not gonna work like that right you need to put a lot of time and effort into your character after you hit level 60 to be able to make it into the late game stuff so if you don't enjoy the leveling process and whenever you get to 60 you realize that you you need to spend many hours at level 60 to be able to do competitive stuff you might end up quitting the game because the game is not fun for you right i rather that you build a foundation first you know that you fall in love with the game that you understand the core mechanics of the game about grinding about you know farming and, and, and making these resources and just doing that just doing that it makes you have appreciation for the game but anyways if you're not interested about any of that if you're not interested about about leveling you know the the the, the, the normal way then this guy is exactly is exactly for you all right so like i said you will start in any of these three zones you will make it into the town whenever you make it into the town even though we're going to be doing towns board i want you to follow the main story all right so this is going to be your bread and butter for for 
for leveling right the main story not only gives you money it gives you gear but it also it also takes you across all of the maps and that is what we're going to be doing all right we're going to be going through almost every single one of these maps unlocking the city unlocking the city so you are able to teleport to those cities and do the town's board all right so it's gonna go as follow you're gonna start in one of the territories you're gonna make it into the main into the main town right after you get there you're going to go to the town's board after you're done with a couple of quests go to the town's board and any quest that you have that he says explore neater you're gonna grab that one all right that is going to be one of the easiest towns board like ever and then the other ones like you know like healing potions like such these they gave a pretty good amount of experience but what's gonna happen is some of these healing potions they're sometimes a little expensive so unless you have already money on that character which you probably don't unless you have like a main character and then you will transfer money to this guy you know via one of your friends then you won't have any money for it so just go ahead and get the explorer needers and probably hunt the animals and after that you will grab your main quest on the city followed by all of these side quests around the city the main quests is they're gonna look they're gonna look something like this the side quests they're gonna look something like that so you're gonna grab all of those in the city you're gonna go do your main quest and on the process of doing your main quest you're also going to do your side quest now why am i asking you to do side quests as along with the main quest well the reason is because if you only do main quests the main quests will turn now to out level you so by the time you're like level 30 you will be doing like level 40 main quests and now the mobs are substantially stronger and you will have a hard time if you do a combination of main quests side quests and uh the town sport quest you will always keep a par with the main quest storyline okay now whenever you collect uh, a little bit of money i would like you guys i would like you guys to go to this website it's um gaming tools new world guys and cooking you're gonna come over here for the granula for the granula like gra granul granula you know what i don't know i don't i don't even know how to pronounce that word you can go ahead and just type 50 that way it only shows you from zero from from zero to one and then one to 50 50 to 100 100 to 150 and 150 to 200 right why am i picking cooking out of all of the professions well forget about every single other one of the professions right all you need is cooking not only cooking is the cheapest one to level up but it's going to give you the most amount of experience out of all of the other professions i have tested this before with cooking uh smelting uh, tanning leather working forget about that the ones that are giving you the most amount of experience is going to be cooking right and on top of that cooking it's extremely cheap the all you need is a hundred and some change right a hundred and some change maybe 200 maybe 200 gold it's not a big deal from 100 from 1 to 50 it's very cheap from 50 to 100 again all you're gonna need is about 500 to 600 gold i know this is 427 but this take in consideration different servers maybe not your server maybe your server will be a little more expensive maybe it will be a little bit cheaper right you're always gonna go with a choice number one choice number two it's also a very good choice but as you can see here it start you know asking for more money uh because these are just different methods so you're always going to go with the first method it's the easiest one so for you to get to uh to 50 to 100 again you buy you buy 690 berry 690 red meat 690 pork that's going to come out roughly roughly 450 500 gold doesn't really matter so al along the way while you're doing while you're doing the main story and you're doing the side quests and you're doing the towns board you will be getting this gold right so if you're a fresh and new player you won't have any gold but as you do these quests and you do these missions the game will reward you with gold and then you spend that gold not to buy anything in the marketplace or anything like that all you will do is buy the resources for you to level your cooking then once you get to 100 as you can see it's now start to asking for a little bit of thousand gold but the thing is by the time by the time you're like level 20 or something doing your your main story your side quests and your town's board you will have this money so again instead of saving this money i want you to spend this money don't save it and the best way to spend this money is leveling cooking not only it will give you a crazy amount of experience whenever you get it from 1 to 200 as you can see it asks you for less from 150 to 200 so you all you need is roughly 6,000 gold for you to get 
uh, cooking from 1 to 200. And the good thing about cooking, whenever you get it from 1 to 200, you're going to start getting this town board quest that is going to ask you to cook something better. And the way that you make it, the town board give you this better better quest is the higher you have that profession so by having cooking in 200 you will find quests that give you anywhere from a thousand experience all the way up to 15,000 experience and if you don't know 15,000 experience sometimes it's like 75 percent of a level whenever you're like level 45 50 right so that is still a very very big amount of experience and all you have to do once you get one of these missions you come over here you look for the quest as you can see it's baking provisions right there after you come over here you can pin this recipe right and after you pin the recipe you press j i don't think it will automatically pop on the right side so you will press j you will go down to recipes and you will pin this recipe that way whenever you go to the marketplace you know what you need to buy so in this case you need eight sugars eight eggs and a flour so you go you buy that you come over here back to the kitchen you craft this provision and in uh, this provision and the thing is you have chances of making more than one so the next time this quest pops up anywhere anywhere in the world you will go ahead and also already finish that quest so that is going to be it right you're going to start in one of these starting zones you're going to make it into the main town you're going to grab the main storyline you're going to grab the side storylines and you're going to go to the towns board and you're going to pick the easy ones like explorer needer and and maybe kills a couple of boars turkeys and stuff like that you're not going to you're not going to pick the ones that are very hard or that are very expensive if you pick the one that is like you know five large salmon if you go to the marketplace and you find and you find the salmons you will quickly realize that the salmons are are extremely expensive you know they are they are super super expensive like sometimes they ask for five uh, five or ten salmon and you don't have 500 to a thousand gold just to get a couple of hundreds of experience so some of these salmon quests are just unrealistic ignore those all right the tadpoles also extremely expensive don't worry about the tadpoles so i only want you to focus mainly on the cooking ones so do mainly the cooking ones explore it neater or kill the you know kill the animals that they request on top of that you're going to be doing the main storyline and you'll be doing the side storyline believe me you will never run out of quests and you never will run out of activities to do and the thing about doing the main storyline is that it will take you from one town to the other and whenever you get to the next town that say you have a new town for you to teleport to whenever you are around level level 45 you have almost every single one of basically all of the towns discover so now from 45 to 60 you can even still do main quests side quests but now you have the luxury of teleporting from town to town to town looking for those good town board quests right so if you went to windsor and windsor didn't have any good quests for you don't worry about it just ignore them and go to the next town right you go to the next town you teleport there once you teleport to your new town you're gonna go ahead and go to the go to the town's board and they're gonna have different quests why am i saying this well the reason i'm saying this is because the town's board quest is they have a 30 minute refresh timer all right right here now it says 1440 because well that's that's already has passed a little bit so for example we come we come to this town if you have uh cooking you're gonna grab the cooking you're gonna grab the potion you're gonna grab the explorer needed you don't need to worry about this one so you can go ahead and cancel that one you can grab this one if you want and then you can grab the fish fillet those are rather rather easy for you to complete they cost almost no money and and then these are the ones that you did this are the ones that you do if you don't want to do the explorer because it will ask you to go out of the town and go to a place although those are relatively very very easy for you to do but it's okay you can cancel this one you can go to the marketplace because you will have a little bit of money by this time and then you will finish this quest and whenever you you're done with this one then you're gonna go ahead and go to the next town and so rinse and repeat although this will only work for the current version of the game once the next patch brimstone stone comes out the town's board are going to get heavily heavily nerfed meaning that the town's board is not going to be the most efficient way to help you level now we don't have an exact way to level up in the brimstone stone because uh the brimstone sand because it hasn't come out yet so this guy is specifically for you to get from 1 to 60 
now whenever the brimstone comes out i will do one for the brimstone and see how it works more likely is going to involve just doing exactly what i said to you now doing the main story together with the side quests and have a little bit of involvement with the town boards because the reason that they are nerfing the towns board is because people literally nowadays they can just uh they can just ask for money from one of their friends or even buy gold you know they even buy gold and and they never had to leave a town all they do is they level all their profession and then they do towns board and they get from 1 to 60 just doing towns board and they never have to worry about getting out of the towns therefore they miss the entire storyline they don't get to explore the map and obviously that is not a good way that's not a good system for you to level up in an mmo so i do commend them for nerfing the towns more it was way too overpower for the leveling process and so i am glad that they nerf it to the ground i mean i wouldn't say nerf it to the ground they just nerf it tremendously and now it's forcing players to actually do quests which i think that is a great thing because if you don't do quests you don't you don't get to know npcs you don't get to know about the story you don't get to explore the maps and i get some of you might not be interested in doing that but this is an mmo after all and the more involved you are with the game the better it will be for you and the game overall Mm, and that's it that's it for me i hope that you guys enjoy this guide if you guys have any question if you guys have any question at all i stream almost every single day right i stream almost every single day uh and you can jump on the stream ask me any question hey trick how do we do this how do we do that and i will be happy i will be happy to answer any of these questions um yes so get ready for the brimstone sense it's coming in next month and get up to level 60 and get that expertise running right expertise that is a story for another video uh but anyways chat i hope that you guys have a wonderful day and um see you on the next one